Hey yo! What's going on, everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah! Look at that dive. That was pristine. Hell yeah. Anyway, so listen, guys. A big event week on this. Okay, a lot of opportunities. And this event week is wrought with traps. Okay, it's a trap. All right, a great, I mean, great opportunity to make a lot of money. Okay, a lot of money, uh, but there are, is a big opportunity and a lot of temptation to spend a lot of money. Okay, some things you may want to, but I, I what I'm going to recommend is not at all. Let's get right into it, okay? Anyways, GT Online bonuses, double GTA cash money and RP opportunities, plus limited time discounts. GT Online bonuses, May 26th through June 12th, all right? So what I've been saying all along is I never thought that the DLC was going to drop on June 6th. It's just too soon. It's too soon in their time frame. I always said June 13th. Even though that's E3, why would they not want to drop something while they're at the ball? You know, uh, and, and this game is blowing up right now or something like that. But it could be even later. I think it's going to be June 13th or even later that this Gunnering DLC is going to come out. Anyways, though, that's, that's good. It, it still could come out on June 6th. We don't know. But if it doesn't, that's better for us. There's more time for grind, okay? You got double money on 25% more on biker businesses, sales, all this stuff. All right, I'm going to get right into it right now. Let's go ahead and go with it. So, whether you're tearing through traffic in the ramp buggy or raiding Fort Zancudo in the Ruiner 2000, get paid handsomely for harassing the unique powers of all eight import-export special vehicles with double GTA and RP in all special vehicle missions through June 12th. It's also a prosperous time for entrepreneurs with 25% bonus GTA cash money on biker business sales and special cargo deliveries. All right, where's the special vehicle deliveries? Come on, man. Anyways, though, but, uh, merchants all across Los Santos are also getting in on the action with big limited time discounts from Warstock, Doc Tees, Dynasty 8 Executive, Elitist, and Ammunition featuring big ticket items including luxury yachts, executive offices, and special vehicles like the Ruiner 2000 and the Rocket Voltic. Check out a full list of this, week, this week's discounts below. Now, this is where a lot of the trap is coming in. There may be a few things that you might want to take advantage of, but whatever business or money-making methods you have right now, I would recommend just stick to that and grind like it's going out of business. All right? Dynasty 8 Executive. Get your criminal enterprise up and running with an executive office. These masterpieces in executive design come with a full-time assistant, helipad, boardroom, and access to the Secure Serve Network to steal and deal in a variety of cargo missions. Executive offices, 25% off. That could be a good thing. We'll talk about that later. Executive office and garage mod shop, 25% off. Don't need that. Executive offices, renovations, garage mod shop included, 50% off. Once again, you don't need any of that stuff, okay? Uh, Warstock cache and carry. Uh, offering a suite of armored, armed, and special vehicles to keep you business protected and your enemies on the run. Discounts apply to both trade price and buy it now pricing, okay? So you've got two different types of pricing for these vehicles. If you do the missions, you get a cheaper price. If you don't do the missions, you get the, the more expensive price, right? The Imponte Ruiner, uh, both prices, 25% off. It still ends up being a $4 million vehicle. The Coil, Rotic, the Coil Rocket Voltic, uh, the Rhino Tank, the Heavy Insurgent Pickup, Buckingham Valkyrie, and the Brute Armored Boxville. None of these may be the Heavy Insurgent Pickup, would be the only thing you'd want to get for the gun running DLC. But honestly, even then, I would not buy it until the new vehicles come out. The, the heavy armored insurgent may not even be worth it anymore, okay? So key, I just wouldn't spend any money on anything, all right? Dock tees. This is a big trap right here. The ultimate room with a view. Yachts come complete with staff and amenities like anti-air defenses, complimentary personal watercraft, and helicopter service to the yacht for a small fee. And trick out your vessel with lightning and color options, a personalized name, and country flag. Yachts, all models and model upgrades, 25% off. Yacht modifications, 50% off. Elitist travel. Uh, shine above low Santos skies with a solid gold aircraft. Luxor Deluxe, 50% off. Swift Deluxe, 50% off. Huge no, do not buy those right there. The yachts could be a possibility. They do have air defense, and who knows, with this gun running DLC, we may be able to modify them and build on top of them. But once again, just wait. If you grind now, that little 25% discount will not make any difference at all. I mean, it's, it's it, it would be nothing if you just grind it out with whatever you got, save your money. You'll, you'll have that money regardless and then some. So ammunition. Your friends at Ammunition are keeping you locked and loaded. Body armor, 25% off. All ammo, 25% off. Box drum magazines, 50% off. 
luxury fi luxury finishes 50% off. And then you got the premium race and time trial schedules. Uh, you got the steeplechase and Del Piro Pier are currently featured premium race and time trial, respectively. Then from May 30th to June 5th, you'll be able to rack up some extra coin with premium special vehicle race, Ascent, Lock to the Rocket Voltic, and time trial observatory. Okay, not bad. Um, an excellent opportunity to earn GTA cash money and RP. Launch premium races through the Quick Job app on your in-game phone or via the Yellow Corona at the Legion Square to, to the top three, or you get money for the top three finishes, um, and then you get triple RP as well. To run time trials, set a uh, waypoint of the marker on your map and uh, enter the Via Purple Corona, which is the ring. Earn a sizable GTA money uh, and RP reward for beating the part time. Those are hard. I've only done one of those, but I, at least I did it. I got it done. So here's some of the discounts. Look at the top left corner. All right, Un a passive mode is disabled in this vehicle. Passive mode disabled in this vehicle. Even though they're 50% off, it's still 5 million and almost 3 million right there. Here's the armored Boxville, 1.65 million. And it, can, it only takes one rocket. I mean, come on, it's not armored. The Ruiner, 3.24 million. With upgrades, you're looking at close to 4 million, even with the discount. Rocket Voltic, 2.1 million. With upgrades, almost 2.7 2 million, close to it. Uh, the insurgent pickup it's right over a million dollars that may be worth it but i would still hold off the valkyrie not the choppers are garbage in this game not worth it the armored tank 1.125 million not worth it uh you know a couple of sticky bombs will take it out this right here may be worth it the cheapest uh ceo office is 750,000. that could be worth it all right um here are some of the yachts some discounts on them right here uh i mean once again if you don't got the money don't do it hold off just grind and you'll be able to make that discounted money back and you won't even have to worry about it. Let me reiterate this right here. Whether you're tearing through traffic in the ramp buggy or raiding Fort Zancudo in the Runner 2000, get paid handsomely for harnessing the unique powers of all eight import-export special vehicles with double GT, double GTA cash money RP in all special vehicle missions and then 25% bonuses on cargo and MC businesses, okay? You guys, listen, we have to talk this out real quick here. All right, so you know what I do. I do a lot of live broadcasts. I grind the crates. I grind all my businesses, but I've been special. I've been focusing on the crates mainly because I want to get that gold statue. Well, now even more reason to do so. I have a 25% bonus on that, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of killing two birds at one stone. Now, there are videos out there, and I'll probably make a video about this as well. There are money-making methods, okay? Money-making methods that allow you to very quickly fill up your MC businesses. So not only are you going to be quickly filling up your MC businesses like your Coke, your meth, your counterfeit cash, uh, you'll be able to sell them much, uh, or you'll be able to sell them with a 25% bonus, all right? So uh, now once again, I haven't seen any of these videos or anything like that, but they are out there. You can search them on your own. It's up to you. I don't want to put too much emphasis on this, okay? Because as this, you know, you, you kind of want to get away from doing this kind of stuff. Because right now, there's never been a better opportunity to make mad cash on GTA. So we got 25% bonuses on special vehicle missions, and we have, or I'm sorry, 50% bonus on special vehicle missions. We have 25% bonuses on uh, cargo and or uh, the crates and your uh, your your MC bit, your 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 biker stuff. Okay. Now, I, I hopefully they release this DLC maybe just one week later than June 13th. That's what I think they'll do is June 13th. But hopefully it'll be a, another week later so we can get an extra week of discounts and maybe they'll give us 50% or 25% bonus on uh, the special vehicle cargo where you basically steal and sell cars because they have not done that yet. I would like to see that. But please, guys, I'm begging you. Every time I do a broadcast, people are like, Ty, how'd you get this much money? This and that. How I, the best way, and they're always asking me, what's the best way to make money? The best way to make money is to not spend money. I know that sounds cheesy. But if you're in free mode lobbies, burning kids up, blowing up their cars, you're you know doing the newest and latest outfit glitches, and you know getting different kind of clothes, and you want to you know look all cute with your rainbow colored outfit and your pink shoes and this and that, you know all that stuff adds up. Stop doing that. Stop buying dumb cars and modding them out and then selling them for a 55% loss. It does not work. Okay, just be a nerd. Put your head down. Put your nose down and grind out, make some friends, network, run heists, do these, if you don't have any CEO things or whatever, you know, I have videos on how to string missions together. You can make a mission playlist, run missions, do all these things. These are what make you rich. This is what's made me rich, okay? Now, it didn't happen overnight. I've been playing this game almost every single day for over two years, okay? And I, I do the things necessary 
to be able to, you know, get the money made. And now I can have fun. Now I've got, you know, F you money where I can do what I want to do and have a good time with it. You know, I don't have to grind anymore at all. I am one of these rare breed. I just enjoy it. You know, I've ran almost a thousand crate collections. That means I've ran multiple trips on crates. Okay. Mul you know, I'll do three crates. It still counts as one collection. I don't, it, do it doesn't bore me. I love it. I enjoy it. For some people it may bore you. I get it. Fight through that and just knock this out and get this money. It is going to be expensive, okay? I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrator Reels content of the game. And make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button and stay dangerous. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.